If you're one of the thousands of people in the UK that has mobility or balance issues, maybe you used to like cycling but can no longer ride a bike because of those issues, then this, the Alpine Electric Trike, could be just the thing for you. Let's take a closer look. So other than the Alpine trike striking looks, there are two things that I want to point out to you that really separates this trike from the competition. The first is the large, and I mean very large, centre mounted LCD display screen. Now this is one of the largest screens on the market and it's so easy to see. You can just glance down and you can see the speed that you're going, you can see how far you've gone. It's really, really easy to see, and it's very simple to use as well. There's only three buttons to use. You can press the up to change the level of pedal assistance up, the down arrow to change the level of pedal assistance down, and there's a menu button just to change which function you want. The second thing I want to talk about is the innovative pivot system. Now, this system allows the trike to be ridden just like a regular bicycle. It, you can lean around corners, so you get that bicycle feel. So if you are one of those people that enjoyed riding the bicycle, then this could be the trike for you. Just to give you a little bit more information about the trike, it's got a 250 watt front hub motor. Now this motor, 250 watt, is the legal limit in the UK. And this is limited to 25 kilometers an hour, which is 15 and a half miles an hour. What that means is when you're pedaling at 15 and a half miles an hour, the motor will cut out. That's not to say that you can't go faster than that. You can pedal as fast as you want, but you just won't get any assistance from that motor above 15 and a half miles an hour. The large display screen has got five levels of pedal assist. Now the range of this trike is roughly about 25 miles, and that's on the highest level. If you were to have it on level five, then you would get 25 miles. If you were to have it on level one, then you would probably get between 35 and 40 miles because obviously on level one, you're doing more of the work rather than the electric motor and the battery. Okay. Speaking about the gears, it's got three speed Shimano Nexus hub gears. That's a bit of a mouthful, I must admit, but what this means is that you can change gears while the trike is stationary. Therefore, if you stop at traffic lights or if you stop on a hill, you can change down gears easily enough and you haven't got to get going for them to change. They will automatically change. There's also an advantage to these gears as well because if you're moving the trike in and out of the shed or the garage, because they're on the inside of the rear wheel, they can't get knocked. So you're not going to knock them out of line. So it's, it's easier to store the bike. You haven't got to worry about knocking the gears. Other features of the trike are integrated lights, rear and at the front, and these both work off the battery as well. So providing you've got battery power, the lights will work when you're riding in the hours of darkness. There are two batteries available for this kind of trike. It's a 10.4 amp battery and also a 13 amp battery. Now, obviously, like I quoted you those ranges earlier, they were for the 10.4 amp. So you can add, say, 30% onto those ranges if you're going to, for the 13 amp option. And the thing to note with the battery as well is these are Samsung cells. So that is, you've got the high quality cells. It's not some cheap batteries that they're gonna cut out on you after, say, six months of use. The batteries are guaranteed for a thousand charges. And that doesn't mean that you have to run it flat to charge it so you can just do a small charge and that won't class as one if your battery is only half full and you charge it up to get it to the highest level to full that's only classed as half a charge so realistically the battery should last a long time we normally say the battery should be lasting about five years to charge the battery it will take five hours from flat but as I said previously, you don't have to run the battery down. We recommend that after every single ride, you would charge the battery. You might only have to charge it for an hour just to top it up. 
and keep it nice. Another thing with the Alpine electric trike is it has a throttle on it. Now the throttle will allow you to travel at 15 and a half miles an hour without even pedalling. This could be deemed as lazy to some of you. However, some people like the throttle. Some people like to start off at traffic lights with the throttle. Some people just like to cruise along if they've got the shopping in the back. So that option is available and the throttle is on every one of these trikes. So you can either use pedal assist where you pedal and the motor helps you when you're pedaling or you can just go on throttle mode and it will just be pure throttling, pure motor, you won't have to do anything. At the front of the bike, on the brakes, there are two handbrakes. Now these handbrakes are easy to put on, you just pull the brake back and pull the lever. This holds the bike steady so that it can't roll away and as you can see I've got the handbrakes on now and it isn't going anywhere. At the front of the bike you have these powerful V-brakes Obviously you need a lot of stopping power with these large trikes and so these are extra powerful V-brakes to make sure that you can stop safely and under control. Also if you take a look down here, now this is the motor connector point. Now on the motor connector point if you get a flat tyre then you can disconnect the motor and you would change the, the wheel as you would do just a regular bicycle. On the point of tyres these are all puncture resistant tyres as well so you shouldn't hopefully have too many problems with flat tyres in the future. The rear basket is about 50 centimetres by 45 centimetres and it's about 25 centimetres deep. So that just gives you a rough idea of the kind of dimensions and we, we've done other videos to show you just how much stuff you can get in there. We've, we, we went to the local shop and we bought a load of stuff for a weekly shop and we packed the rear basket and the front basket so you'll have to have a look at one of our other videos to see all of that. So taking a closer look at the handlebars, on the left hand side you have your brake lever and this here is your handbrake. Now to engage your handbrake you simply pull the brake lever back and flick this little switch here. These are your hub gear selector and this here turns on your display screen. Now we've done a separate video to show you how to use the display screen so you can find that if you subscribe to us then you can find that in our our videos on the right hand side we have the throttle and that's what will take you to 15 and a half miles an hour so you just hold that down it's a thumb throttle you have a bell you have the front brake lever also with a handbrake and this is the lever that locks and unlocks the frame so when you unlock it like so, you can see how the frame leans and how you could ride around corners when the frame is unlocked. So the frame there is locked. So to tell you a little bit about the battery, the charging point for the battery is via this point here and you will receive with your tricycle just like a laptop charger, it's a brick charger that you plug into the wall and then it plugs into this point here. So obviously the battery can be charged on the trike or you can remove the battery and take it out and to do that you simply take out the seat with the keys because it's locked onto the trike at the moment so you would unlock the battery and you would simply slide it out and the battery weighs about two two and a half to three kilos something like that so you could take your battery if if you want to take your trike to work you could take your battery out maybe charge your battery in work before you're going home at the end of the day or if you don't want to leave your battery in the garage with the trike overnight you could take your battery out and, and leave it at home and to put it in obviously is just a reverse operation of what we just did slide it in turn it on and seat back in So 
in summary, if you are somebody with balance or mobility issues, then the Alpine Electric Trike could be the thing for you. Whether you want to take it to the shops to fill up the large rear basket and the front basket with your daily or even weekly shop, there's something that you could do on this, and this will get you where you want to go. Please remember, if you've liked this video, give us a like, and also subscribe to this video by pressing the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. If you want more information about the trike, our contact details are coming up at the end of this video, so you can either give us a call or you can drop us an email. There's also a link on this video that will take you directly to our webpage for the Alpine Electric Trike, and there you can see user reviews and also more photographs of the trike in general.